Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel. Where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. <laughs> Today is July 29th, and in much of our region, southeastern U.S., uh, honey extracting is done. Some people are still pulling, running a little late. Today I'm gonna walk you through a couple of small facilities. These are small scale operations for uh, small commercial, sideline, hobbyists, uh, extracting and bottling honey. But to give you some idea, if you don't know how honey makes it from the hive to the bottle, to the grocery store or farmer's market shelf, where, wherever you might be seeing your honey, buying your honey. I'll uh, walk into our ultra top secret honey lab. This, my friends, is where the magic happens. Okay, what we got going on in here, and this, by the way, this facility is not being used. As you'll be able to see, as you look at the equipment, it's all in pieces, it's being rebuilt being put back together this is a honey pump recently rebuilt here's part of an uncapping assembly this is a really old but completely almost completely rebuilt 30 frame extractor huge like a like an amusement park ride big thing these are drum heaters tempco usa those are used to warm drums of honey to make it easier to bottle. Cold honey does not run very well, so you turn one or two straps on. It warms it not enough to damage it or pasteurize it, but it warms it enough to make it flow easier. And this is a valve for bottling. And here's an uncapping tank. This is a frame uncapper, and I'll show you that. I'll show you a very similar one in use later on in this video. Eventually all this carpet will come out and this will turn into a honey house, inspected, approved, all that good stuff. So that's a quick look at uh, a future endeavor for Stinger Juice honey. Stinger Juice is currently bottled at a friend's facility. You'll see that later in the video. And um, Dirt Rooster honey as well. Stinger Juice is my dad, my brother's label. I've made it pretty uh, pretty well known that I don't sell my honey up to this point. However, as I grow, that'll probably happen, and I'll probably be bottling here uh, when this is all finished and put together. Let's go on to uh, watch my brothers extracting. So we've been on the road for the past three days, spending time with family. Uh, we, we lost our granny, and thank you all on Facebook and Instagram for your condolences. We got back in town tonight in time for me to run up here and speak at the Laurel Bee Club. Um, a good friend, Mac Busby, asked me months ago if I would. Uh, told him yes, hoping he would forget about it, but he didn't, and so there I went. <laughs> so we had a good time and uh, enjoyed meeting everybody that showed up. So I just left the Laurel Bee Club meeting. I'm checking in on my, my dad, my brother, and his kids, see what they're doing. <laughs> Welcome to the honey house. <laughs> it looks like y'all got a mess in here. We do. We've been working hard. You got sweet hands in here. I, I see that. <laughs> Check out our new honey elevator. No freaking way, man. Got a loose wire. Oh. <laughs> Got a loose wire. That's all right. It works better bending over to pick up frames of honey. Heck yeah. That wire is on your back. Yeah, Look at all the propolis. Yeah. Oh. 
Huh? Stop. Run out of room? Yes, I'm going to hold him. Uncapping knives that are spring loaded. So the frame goes through. There's a cam that moves these back and forth. And, and so the, the spring loaded part, they clear the frame, the wood parts of the frame. Got a crisis. Uh, Stick your hive tool in them cappings. Let me see how deep it is. Captain's a honey. That's it. The whole crop. There's probably 15 or more gallons of honey there. Yeah. Okay, now that you've seen the extraction process, let's go over to the Vatican and watch the bottling process. <laughs> the the uh, Abbey Honey House. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I make a video every week. If you want to see more, uh, you'll get notifications. If you like the video, click like. Hope you enjoy the rest of it. Thanks for watching. Also, if you've harvested already, let me know in the comments section what kind of weight you're pulling off your hives and, and what you're harvesting off of. We're getting uh, a lot of our harvest comes from Chinese tallow or what we call popcorn trees around here. You, you, uh, just give me a minute and then you can see it, the really operation over here. Everybody already knows you're cheating. We're just fixing to show them how bad. <laughs> oh, my battery still isn't charged up. <laughs> oh, no. no, it still isn't charged up. Well, you only wanted to um, bottle 300 anyway, right? No, I don't want to bottle it all. You don't want to show the difference to how this thing is important. <laughs> I can't believe it's not 
charged up. Well, maybe it'll charge while we start. Well, it, it's it. been on charge for a long time. That's a shame when you got a Ferrari and you can't even drive it. I know. No, I've been driving it already. And it's <laughs> Well, show off, this, show off this toy. All right, so we'll show this toy. Yeah. Are you okay? Well, we, we got this thing fit now. You know, the cords and control pedals and fancy <laughs> this is, this is air, like air hoses and chargers stuff. and inverters and regulators time. and electronic controls. This ain't... This ain't beekeeping. <laughs> That's a lot of honeybee up in there. That's eight gallons in there. Eight gallons. Eight gallons. And this this is our safety switch right here. She can't operate until I give her the go right here. So what, once we do this, now we, we're hot. We're hot. <laughs> we're hot. Everybody clear the work area. <laughs> is that sick or what? <laughs> I called you a cheat before. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I guess that's when, when a, a man will put hydraulic will never fail you, huh? How much does it pay? How much does it pay? <laughs> no, it's, it's, not, it's not good. You don't want to know. He doesn't even give you money. Is it an hour in there? Is it an hour in there? No, case. By the case. <laughs> Ten cents a case. <laughs> no, we only get six cents a case. And we only get 52 yeah. cases. <laughs> Man, now don't put those things on so tight nobody can open them up. I gotta make a good seal on them. <laughs> <laughs> so Vicki, how, how does it feel to meet the infamous dirt rooster? The 628 dirt rooster. I'm overwhelmed. Okay, what about you? What about you? A dream come true. <laughs> it's like when I'm Hey, Kay, I bet I bet you're glad you're sitting down because otherwise you'd probably be fainting, right? <laughs> what you say, so I was Peter Paul and Mary. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's better than eating Peter Paul. Oh man. Wow, we uh, your dad your dad'll probably be impressed when he sees you doing a little work, huh? He wasn't here. Oh, I know. Poor man. I wish he was. <laughs> Put in the work. <laughs> you can sit down. Yeah. He'd bottle it for you. He does that on his, on his lunch break. When I let him take a lunch break, he, he sits in bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere that's not on the front. And then you put the front label on. And you center it with that blue hand, and then you roll it over here. You put the warning label on. Yeah. Warning, honey yeah. collected <laughs> by Mr. So Ed. Smart.
finished product. Front and back. Beautiful. And now you got to do all of those cases. <laughs> we already did 600 went on sale Saturday in the gift shop. And it's so all gone. I don't think it's all gone, but they sold more than half of it the first day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So they sold more than half of it the first day. Wow. Everybody loves Abby Honey. This high tech beekeeping ain't all fun and games. You gotta work on this stuff. <laughs> 30 gallons lifted like it ain't nothing. The sweet stuff. Why don't you uh, lift it up and fill that? Well, it takes longer, so, and then I gotta move everything. We've done it. This is the easiest practice was to, while we were draining the bottles from that hopper right there, mm -hmm. if we fill these buckets up, then we can just drop this thing and lower, um, put the, pour the honey into there so we don't lose any time. But all that time we were doing it, I didn't think about doing this. Yeah. So it, it takes almost 10 minutes to drain the buckets to fill it in there. Wow. So that's why um, use two buckets, I could lift those. You could lift both of them, they're full up. I don't even fill them up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you got oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open up one of these. Helps it. That didn't help anything. <laughs> it, it does, it does. The, um, we, we had done it before is we would lower the, um, the table right here, and then wheel it underneath the, the jack. Mm -hmm. All that stuff, it takes so much time to move all this stuff out the way. It's just faster to um, let the honey drain into our buckets, and then drop the table and pour the honey into the buckets, yeah. into the hopper. It just, it's just faster. I think I mentioned on a older video that somebody had broken into my truck. Yeah. And there was only one thing missing. <laughs> No, yeah, but that is my hat, so don't even think about that? it. That's my hat. That ain't your hat. That's my hat. And, and if, you look, if you look on December of uh, uh, 2017, I am wearing that hat, that very hat, the one that you gave me, not the one that your brother-in-law took out of your truck and, <laughs> and, and said that is yours. So that is my but, hat. And you can look at my, my video and see that I had it before you lost it. But let me, let me show you what a prized possession this thing is. Can you see the cobwebs on it? <laughs> There's no charge. No, no charge. charge. <laughs> what if I... You want to lift both of them at the same time or what? If I get it all in one dump. <laughs> Let me just fill the jars like this. <laughs> oh, the rooster's got the pour on. <laughs> Almost to the rim. <laughs> <laughs> seen those fancy cappuccino shops? <laughs> I can't do, the, let's say, let's do a heart. I can't even do a heart. <laughs> It's a frappuccino, isn't it? No, no, no. <laughs> You'll never get it all. Just, there you go. Oh, look at you. What not a drip. Not a drip. You're not going to take the obligatory lick? <laughs> Like those old uh, English police sirens. <laughs> <laughs>